I don't know what your struggles relate to today. It could be a marriage problem, a financial turmoil, it could be loneliness, persecution, fear of the future. All I know is it doesn't get much harder than watching your son be murdered as an innocent man. But as we saw from Mary, God is faithful and his guidance is what you need. If you asked Mary if she would do it all again, she'd say yes, a thousand times yes. Whatever the Lord asked, she would do. You see, that's the only way to know true joy. It's not in asserting your rights. It's not exercising your power, pulling your own strings. That's the problem of most today. People are wrapped up in their own feelings and what they want to do, that they have lost that willingness to let God be in charge. Jesus presents every one of you with a crisis. He calls you to an all or nothing kind of thing. And either you trust him fully or you have never trusted him at all. There is no middle ground. You see, you can't see yourself as king of your life, queens of your life, and say that Jesus is king also. When the angel appeared to Mary back in Nazareth all those years ago, Mary faced that choice. She could either trust in God completely, or she could turn and walk away. I happen to think that she made the best choice. And I hope and pray that you too will. Well, that's it. That's my take on the women of the Bible. And I hope that you learned something today. I hope. I hope that God's word through, through their stories has, has been received. You see, God's word is, is good for the soul. Has a way of cleaning you up, clearing out all the junk that accumulates over the course of your life. So I encourage you to read his word every day. Learn about those important kingdom principles that he teaches in the lives of his people. Remember. No matter where you're from, who you are, what you have, or even what you don't have, you can choose to trust God. You can choose to love him and serve him. Let your light so shine before men that they may glorify your Father. And who knows, in a thousand years or so, maybe, well, maybe you might be counted among the faithful like the women of the Bible. Good night. same time to give us an opportunity bless the lord to uh to reflect while you every head is bowed and every eye is closed uh, perhaps you're here today this evening and um you don't know this christ that mary was so glad to have born into the world realizing that his his purpose was to to take away the sins of the world and and, and god wants to extend to you even right now an opportunity to receive this free gift of eternal life uh, as simple as ABC, they admit we were sinners. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of God's glory. B, believe that Christ died on the cross in your place. He was your substitute. He died on your behalf. And C, confess it with your mouth. I'm going to pray right now. If you never prayed that prayer to receive the Lord as your Savior, the invitation is, is for you right now, at this very moment, that you might come to know him whom to know is life eternal. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you so much for dying on the cross for my sins. 
Lord, please forgive me of my sins. And come into my heart and be my personal Savior and Lord. Help me, dear God, by the life that I live, to show my gratitude for this free gift that you've given me. Thank you, dear God, that now I have become the forever child of God. I bless your name for Christ our Redeemer's sake. Amen. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer on the authority of God's word, you have been given the free gift of everlasting life. The word simply says, these things are written unto you who believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe on the same of the Son of God. I want to invite you even right now to rest on your feet as we prepare to go up from this place. Amen. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Please pause. Have a seat. We're going to make some acknowledgments before you go. <laughs> Definitely got to introduce all of the cast and the crew to you. And please give them a warm welcome as they come out here. I mean, I think they did a fabulous job. Yes. I mean, my heart is filled. And I don't know if it's because I'm the creative director, but I'm on pins and needles, like listening, like, oh, my God, my heart is just pumping. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, everybody. Wonderful Eve who came from the garden. Priscilla Sullivan. And Sarah, I, I don't know if she's given birth yet, but Rebecca Jordan. All right, she's still in labor. Rahab, Joyce Elliott. Deborah, judge us not, Zella Raspberry. Ruth, that dedicated Ruth, Evelina Jones Bridges. And yes, we do have to introduce you still to Jezebel. Thressa Slater, come on out. Mary Magdalene, where are you? Denise Clark. Martha, I hope you're not busy. Tanine Harley. The lady at the well, the Samaritan woman, you've been redeemed. Jerry Norman. And where is Mary, the mother of Jesus? Lisa Franklin. And we can't forget our narrator, Deborah McDuffie. Come on out. All right, please give them a round of applause once again. You ladies did a fabulous, fabulous job. Those behind the scenes, the crew, We've got a stage manager. Where is she? Angela Kelly, come on out. The assistant stage manager, Deadria Kemp. Costume design, Tierra Kelly. Sound manager, all of those folks, that entire team up there in the media, Barbara Dixon. Michael Whitaker and everyone else up there in the media. Michael Whitaker, there you go. That's her husband. The assistant to the director, Bermuda Marlin. The co-director, Mary Ward. She's not here today. I want to thank our ushers. And my name is Wanda Mims. I am the creative director. <laughs> and of course, we must thank our first lady, Lynette Richardson, and our pastor, Ralph Richardson, for allowing us this opportunity to do this. It would not be possible without them. 
So that's it. Thank you all for coming. We're going to have the benediction by Reverend uh, Franklin over here. And we really do appreciate you all for coming. The ladies will be up here if you want to take pictures with them, autographs also. <laughs> so please stay and just shake their hands and let them know how much you appreciate them. Amen. Amen. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All naturals. My goodness. Praise the Lord. I want to invite you to rest on your feet now as we prepare to go up from this place. Uh, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you, O oh Lord, for this great occasion, Lord. Thank you, dear God, for these servants, these gifted folk who have availed themselves to, to, to work of ministry. Lord, bless them, God, as they have blessed us. And Lord, we'll certainly give them the play, praise. Give us, Lord, traffic mercy as we leave this place, but never your presence. In the name of our Savior, Christ Jesus, the Lord, we pray. The people of God say amen. Amen. amen.